Grant from Renew Auto here. We'll do a quick walk around video of the Panamera Turbo. Uh, show any dents, dings, scratches, any imperfections on the vehicle at all. I like to make sure I get all of those pointed out because a lot of these cars get shipped all over the country and sometimes the world. I never want there to be a surprise when that car comes off the truck. Um, starting at this passenger front wheel, it does have curb rash around the outside of it. Um, I'm pretty sure each wheel has a little bit of this curb rash. And so that is something that we have a local wheel expert that can fix that. Uh, so let us know if you want to get that done before the vehicle gets on the truck. Happy to arrange that for you. Looking at the carbon ceramic brakes, perfect shape. You can just see how clean everything is. How clean the inside pumps are. Also wheel wells. I mean, this, this car is just unbelievably well -made. had it idling here for probably 30 or so minutes while we've been doing photos and no drips, no overheating, nothing. It's a great, great tread on the Michelin tires. Those are probably almost brand new, I would suspect, because all the tread is there. Um, moving to under the hood. Let's see if there's no noises, no vibration or anything. And again, just look how clean everything is on this vehicle. Go up to the hood, you can see that it has all the factory markings on it, the VIN sticker, everything. All of that going to show that there's no um, accident or repaint history on this front end. The hood doesn't have any deep dings, dents. It did have a partial clear bra, I think it came up to about here. It was starting to get a little bit old, and so we just barely pulled that off. The good news is that means paint underneath it is great shape. I mean, no, no rock chips. None of that at all. Um, same with the headlights, those are in awesome, awesome shape. If it were my personal car, I would opt because it is in such good shape and that paint protection film has just been pulled off. I would opt to have a full front kit installed. Um, we can definitely do that in-house for you. It'll be a lifetime warranty film that covers all of the front surfaces and goes all the way back to the body line. And that way you don't have any line going across the hood and the fenders like you do on, on some of those partial kits that you might have seen in the past. So, let us know if that's something you want. Um, same with the windshield. They do make a windshield film now where you can uh, put the clear protection film on that as well. So that's an option too. Um, totally up to you on the windshield. I would highly recommend the front end though, just because it's so rare to get this model year Porsche with just perfect paint on the front. Moving to the driver's side front wheel. A little bit of that curb rash again on the edges. Again, you can see just how clean everything is. I do know that there's some scrapes from steep driveways underneath the bumper here. Um, of course, you've got to get kind of down on your hands and knees and bend down to see it, but just trying to point out every possible imperfection. Side view mirror, no significant rock chips there. And the roof is in great shape as well. Not seeing any door dings on the driver's side. Same with the fender. Uh, curb rash on this wheel. Let's see right there. Again, I mean, how, when do you see a car that clean inside the wheel? Oh, this is just so, so well cared for. Um, tail lights are in great shape. This is something to check on Panameras. You don't have to buy this one, but if you are shopping for Panameras, make sure you check these tail lights. They always, always, always get little stress fractures around them. So that's something to keep an eye on. Moving to the rear bumper, it does have the sport exhaust option, which is awesome. The Panamera Turbo script. I'm looking, no scrapes or anything from the uh, getting the luggage in and out. That's all in great shape. And as you can see, obviously the power hatch works as well. Again, no cracks on that tail lamp. And not seeing dents or dings there. Fuel cap. Great shape there, no corrosion or anything. Little bit of curb rash on this last wheel on the rear passenger side. And you can see the tread on the tires as well. 
obviously no um, rubber or anything thrown up under this rear fender. Uh, just another kind of spot that I like to check. If, if somebody's been out doing donuts and crazy things like that, or a lot of track days, you'll see a bunch of rubber thrown up under this uh, the rear fender. But moving to the passenger side doors, not seeing any dings or dents there. And same with the front passenger side too. No chips on the windshield, no cracks there. And looking through the windshield, you can see that the dash is in great shape. Uh, this this leather, if it spends any time out in the sun, it's gonna start to stretch and peel back. And it's a real mess, but this is in perfect shape. And of course, I love looking through and seeing the Burmeister logo. Let's everybody know that somebody spent $4,000 on a great stereo. Uh, same with the headlights, those are the black PDLS, a Porsche dynamic lighting system headlights, obviously the HIDs, but they also turn as you're going through different curves and whatnot. I'll, I'll show pictures. We've got factory glass on all these windows around the cabin. Moving to the interior, one of my favorite parts of this car. The spec is just gorgeous with this natural cognac leather, the deviated stitching, the yachting inlaid wood trim across the entire interior. I just cannot get it to catch on the camera, but in person, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful, rich wood trim interior. I just love that detail. Uh, the light tan, um, complimentary leather, top to bottom. So just leather, leather, Alcantara leather across the top, all the center console leather, a lot, a lot, a lot of money in leather in this vehicle. You do have the 18-way adjustable seats, your turbo script on the door sills you get in. Floor mats, we'll show you the carpets underneath are in perfect shape as well. You do have the color match gauges. No checked engine lights or anything like that, of course. Going across the dashboard again, no pullback, nothing there. More of that wonderful wood trim everywhere. And then a full set of buttons here in the center console. This blank is for, I believe it was a auxiliary engine block heater. I'd have to look that up. I've got goldfish brain, but it was something that only European cars even had the option. So um, as far as I know, you'll never see a US spec car that has that last button in that location, but otherwise full buttons. Um, going into the cigarette lighter, no evidence of any kind of um, cigarette smoking in the vehicle at all at any time. No odors, no nothing like that does have the embossed center console, another option, some of your media inputs, and again, the Alcantara across the entire headliner, which is just gorgeous. Even the sun visors, front and rear sides of the uh, sun visors are all Alcantara. Of course, you do have sunroof as well, which functions. Uh, oh, and rear shade. Here. And then the complimentary dark brown cognac on the seat belts as well. Moving to the rear, not sure if it's ever even been sat in. I mean, that's how nice everything is. Just stellar, stellar shape. Of course, you've got your four zone climate control in the rear, heated seats in the rear, center console, cup holders. Again, no evidence of any kind of smoke at all. And some more storage and armrest. Is optioned with the rear wiper. As an absolute Porsche nerd, I love that this has got the rear wiper. We've had hundreds of these uh, first gen Panameras through our repair shop and our detail shop. And then I've owned oh, 10 of the things at this point. I have never seen the elusive rear wiper. Total just Porsche nerd stuff. Nobody else will ever notice. Um, is equipped with the storage cover so nobody can see what's hiding in your trunk. Perfect, perfect shape back here. You do have your owner's manual and then your Birdmeister sound system. Um, and always make sure to check for this when you're shopping for a 911 or any kind of Porsche, uh, Panamerican. They use a unique kind of a lug nut key system where it's not tied to your VIN. And so if you lose that or you don't have that when you purchase a car, 
you've got to go to a Porsche dealership. They've got, I think, 24 of them. They've got a one by one, test every single one until they find which one works and then use that serial number to call Porsche and get it ordered. It's a huge mess. So just make sure you've got that when you're shopping for these vehicles. Going back to this side again, great shape. No evidence of any kind of smoking or anything, of course. And then I love the uh, rear window option where you hit it a second time and you've got your sunshades as well, which complements the rear sunshade in the center. AC vents across the rear. This is a lovely, lovely place to be if you've got to ride in your car for a couple hours. The back seat of a Panamera is not a bad place to be stuck. Again, yeah, Burmeister sound system, as we pointed out, super expensive option back when the vehicle was new. Got your air conditioned glove box, power outlet there if you've got like a radar detector, and then my favorite cup holders in the entire automotive sphere the hideaway Porsche cup holders. They did away with these in the later gen cars, and I kind of miss them. I think they're such a great solution for cup holders. Again, 18 way power, just seats, another option, and embossed headrest and these are actually embossed front and rear which I never ever see the rear ones embossed just a total portion there I would I would love to shake the hand of the individual that spec this car originally I mean down to the carbon ceramic brakes which are horrifically expensive the colored center caps embossed headrests I mean just so so many options just a wildly huge window sticker on this car and as a Porsche nerd, I love that stuff. It's so, so, so cool to see. But um, feel free to reach out. If you've got any questions, anything I didn't point out, anything you want, post pictures of, videos of, anything. If you want a PPI done somewhere, more than welcome to. Uh, you can email me at my first name, Grant, G-R-A-N-T, at renewauto.com. Or text works best as well. Uh, my direct cell phone is going to be 435-278-8915. And we'll talk to you then. Thanks.